True story, I started making movies because of Polly Shore. Hello! Hey! <laughs> that's, that's not a joke. This is gonna be a weird trip down memory lane. Let me take you all the way back to 15 year old Dylan. The year was 1994. I was just getting ready to get my driver's license. I was working in a gas station and I had probably the nicest mullet that anyone has ever seen. Now, like most teenage boys, I pretty desperately wanted to be cool, hip, popular and get the chicks. I can't even pretend like that's not it. It was mostly to get the chicks. And this little movie came out called Son-in-Law. As your principal, I watched you all start out here at Lincoln High. Son-in-Law was, I think, Pauly Shore's first movie, maybe like his first big movie, I'm not really sure. But the thing that stood out for me in the movie, other than the fact that he got the girl, was that he had a video camera. Show me love and cut. You have got charisma! And a Leatherman tool. What is that? It's a special quality of leadership that captures the popular imagination and inspires allegiance and devotion. Now, I was working at a gas station at the time and money was pretty good and I didn't have to pay for anything. So I took my money and I bought my first video camera and my first Leatherman tool. It's pretty important to note that both of those things were not considered super cool, but somehow in my brain, I thought they were super cool. Until then, the only reason that I had seen people using video cameras for any reason was to record summertime vacations or ridiculous birthday parties. But when I watched Son-in-Law and I watched Pauly Shore running around with his video camera, it occurred to me suddenly that you could make movies with these things. That you could actually deliver a story, not just a repetition of the events that were happening. And that changed my whole sort of idea of what it might look like to, to document your life with one of these things. Now I was young and stupid and I pretty much didn't use it at all for a very, very long time. It sort of sat in the corner and I would like bring it out every once in a while. I think I might've actually been scared to let my parents know that I had one, but it didn't really get much of a workout at all until about 1998. That was the year that I made this. In February of 1998, I had just very recently broken up with my first longtime girlfriend, and my buddies Seth and Josh, who were both in university, said they wanted to go away and run away to the mountains for a reading week. Now, I was working, I wasn't going to university, so I didn't have a reading week, but I did have vacation. And for some reason, I decided that this was gonna be the first time that I was gonna make a movie. Now, I haven't watched this, it's been 20 years. I need to get it digitized so I can even see what it is. But there are a few things that I remember about it. Even then, I can remember thinking about how excited I was that I was finding a way to tell my stories, which meant it was ridiculous and silly and in a couple instances featured me flashing people as they walked by our room at the YMCA. The majority of that week sort of sits in this weird fuzzy area in my head. I can remember tiny little moments, but the moments I remember the most, the ones that stick out, are the ones that I know are on that tape. And it took years until I started making videos again, but that little bit, that taste of storytelling through this medium, it changed my whole idea of what it meant to be creative. I have always struggled with wanting to be a creative person, but not knowing I tried painting, I tried sculpture, I tried woodworking, but making videos always made me feel good. Like the stories I was telling could come out in the way that they were in my head. And all of that started way back in 1994 because of a movie about a stoner who was a resident director at a university who fell in love with a farm girl. So I guess to be fair, I'm not really sure if I should thank Polly Shore or just the fact that Polly Shore got a girlfriend. It was a really big motivator back then. Okay, so it's still a pretty big motivator that I haven't grown up all that much in 20 years. 